Hi there, Saki here from Saki Tech. You may or you may not know, but the HTC 10 comes with a built-in theme engine that allows you to customize every aspect of your phone, including the icons, the color scheme, the background images to be used in the text messaging application, the app drawer, the lock screen, even the screen when you receive a call, the sounds, the fonts, and much more. Not only can you download and apply various HTC or user-created themes, you can also create your own theme and share it with others. So in this video, we will do a deep dive and do a full demonstration of all these options. Let's get started. All right, so let's see how to customize this phone using all the various theming options that we have. Now, first and foremost, you can actually access the theming engine in three different ways. The first way is to actually press and hold on the main screen and that brings up the personalization menu. From here you can change or edit current theme. Okay so when you change the theme you can then go in and you can edit the theme and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now but the other way to go into the same options is if you press and hold the recent apps button right over here. So if you press and hold this button it brings up the same personalization menu from there where you can change the theme and you can edit the theme. And finally, if you go into the settings, and if you scroll down where it says personal, under that you see personalize, you tap on it, and from here you also have the options under themes that allows you to change the theme and edit the current theme that you did in fact pick. So let's go and pick a brand new theme. This is the default HTC theme. Let's see what other options that we have. Press and hold on the screen and then go to change theme option. Now you do have to have an HTC account so if you don't have one make sure you guys go and you uh, create one and that's going to allow you to access the theming engine. Now once you're in the themes you have two options. You have the classic themes and you have the freestyle themes. And I'm going to show you exactly what both of these mean. And I've also if you scroll down you can download individual wallpapers you can download icon packs and you can also download sounds okay and if you keep going down you can uh, download fonts so all these things can be downloaded and individually applied to each theme that you desire so for example if I tap this button over here that's gonna take me into the classic theme layouts and these are all the options that I have actually I have more options but these are the ones from HTC as it says on the top. So let's uh, grab this one. Let's download it. And after a download is complete, let's apply this theme. Click apply, click OK. Now if I go back out, as you can see, the entire theme has changed. You have new icon packs, you have a nice background, you have a different clock and everything. And if I, for example, go into the phone application, you'll see that it has different background as opposed to the stock background and if I go into the message application it's going to be a brand new message application let's tap this and as you can see you have a nice little background behind the text message uh, which is custom to that specific theme so let's say you downloaded a theme and you want to go and edit specific parts of that team uh, theme what you do is you press and hold you go into edit theme and before I do that I also want to show you guys how the font has in fact changed so tap on edit current theme and that's going to allow you to if you scroll down that's the theme right there if you scroll down as you can see you can change the home wallpaper you can change the lock screen wallpaper you can change the apps wallpaper you can change the messaging wallpaper that is a text message wallpaper uh, you can change the color scheme, you can change the icons, you can even change the weather clock, the ringtone, notifications, every single thing for this theme that we just downloaded can in fact be changed. This is absolutely fantastic. Actually, let me show you just one example. So let's go into the, um, the message detail wallpaper. Let's tap on it. And let's say I want to pick another option from here. This one looks nice. Grab that. Apply. Now let's go back out. As you can see, the theme is the same. But when I go to the text message application, if I go into the message, it's got that brand new wallpaper that I just downloaded. Now let's go back into the change theme option. So let's uh, press and hold on the screen. 
and go into the change theme and from here again I want to show you guys you have the classic layout themes and you have the freestyles now if you press this button over here that takes you into the classic layout themes but these are only from HTC now if you go back to the home screen and if you tap this button you can actually press on classic or freestyle let's just go, go for our classic right now if you tap this you actually get the classic layouts from all over the world so these are themes that people actually created and they're in fact sharing them with you and then what you can do is you can tap on these if you like them you can download you can apply as usual if you go back there's a button here you can click this button and from here you can change from different categories such as abstract animals architecture let's tap this so now all you're gonna see is architectural themes so you can really dive in and get some nice looking themes based on your interests okay so these are the themes you can get from all over the world like I said but these are classic layout themes now let's look at the freestyle okay so let's go back out press and hold and go to change theme and this time instead of going for the classic layouts let's take a look at the freestyles so if I tap this uh, button right here that brings up all the uh, freestyle layout themes from HTC and let's say let's scroll down here's the one that I like tap on it let's click apply click OK and as you can see the theme has been applied let's go back out and see what this is all about what the freestyle means so once you're back out here's a freestyling theme what you can do is you can grab each one of these widgets for example this one is for Chrome that's for phone that's for messages but you can grab this and put it anywhere on the screen that you desire as you can see it's right there grab Chrome and put it right here as a balloon fantastic now this is what they mean by freestyle now if you scroll over you'll see many more so you got the plane that is for the calendar and if you keep looking around you'll see there's a maps looks like a candy and all that now to go back into the change theme options you press this go back to change theme now again these were from HTC okay because I clicked this button what you want to do is you want to press this, this button and you want to press freestyle layout themes if you tap this it's going to take you the freestyle themes from all over the world again you can press this button uh, to break it down by category now let's just take a look at the architecture and that's going to give you the architectural freestyle themes now as you can see right now we only have one and of course just like you can edit the classic layout themes you can edit the freestyle layout themes the same exact way so press and hold on the screen go into edit current theme and again from here you can change the themes you can change the lock screen wallpaper uh, all applications wallpaper the messaging uh, detail wallpaper the color scheme icons clock and all that good stuff so this is absolutely fantastic not only do you have two different kinds of themes to choose from you can edit each kind and of course that's not everything there's some more things you can do and this might be very exciting for some of you guys so if you press and hold and bring up this uh, screen again and this time press change theme you will see that the bottom here is an icon that keeps floating and it's a plus sign if you press this what you can do is you can create your own theme so let me show you a little bit how that works and then you can figure the rest out very easily by yourself so the first thing you want to do is you want to press choose home image this is where everything starts so you tap on it you can either uh, grab a brand new picture if you're outside and you see something nice some nice architectural piece uh, you can take a photo and quickly make a theme out of it or you can go to the photos okay so either option works once you choose that you click next it's gonna save uh, the theme so far and then basically what you get is you get a preview of a new theme based on the image that you picked so if I scroll around you'll see this is how different pages on my theme are gonna look like that's the app drawer that's going to be the messages the text messages background which looks really nice uh, this is going to be the blink feed screen and this is going to be the home screen now this is the first option you can also what you can do is you can 
pick a different color scheme. So you can use the same background image and go with this color scheme, okay, which is kind of brownish, or you can go up here and you have Kelvin, okay, everything is picked automatically. So you can go in here, and this is a little bit different color scheme. Go back again, you have a different uh, color scheme, okay, this is called freestyle, not bad at all. But you have a lot of options, okay? Look at that, but the icon packs are different. Just give you, gives you these options that you can uh, go through uh, to customize the theme as you like it. Now, if you want to edit this, you can tap edit, and you can edit each individual page, or you can simply click next, and then give your theme a name, and then click OK, and that's going to save the theme, and then you can use that on the spot, and you can share the theme with other people. Uh, so I just want to show you guys what happens when you click edit screen. So if you tap on edit, it's basically going to allow you to change the wallpapers, textures and colors, the icon pack, the sounds, the font, and all that jazz. And you can do that for any one of these uh, various options that you can pick from, which is fantastic. All right, so those are the theming options for your HTC 10. A quick summary, you press and hold, okay or you go into settings you go to personalize you go to themes and let's say you uh, pick theme that's gonna take you into the theme engine from here remember you've got two options you've got the classic layout team uh, theme and you have the freestyle layout themes you can pick from any one of these okay if you want to see the ones from HTC you simply press this button and that brings up everything from HTC. If you want to see from everybody else, you tap this button, okay, and you go to Classic Layout Themes. Press it, and then from this menu, you can choose individual categories. And of course, if I go back out here, go back one more time, change theme. If I press this button, you can do the same thing with the freestyle layouts and you can choose wallpapers, icon packs, sounds, fonts, and all that good stuff. And just one final thing, once you download a theme from the market, where it goes is, it goes into the My Themes folder. Okay, so you tap this button, and you can press My Themes, and that's going to show you all the themes you have downloaded from the market. Now, what if you design the theme? What, what if you press the plus, and you create your own theme, you design your own theme? What you have to do is press this button, and go to my designs and that's going to give you all the themes that you created yourself well thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up also follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech online for which links are in the description below have a fantastic day